All right, let's talk about the Try Guys thing. So, as I'm sure many of you have heard, um, just as recently as yesterday or two days ago, whenever I am able to upload this, the Try Guys have gone through and decided to do the Second Try TV, which is their own streaming service platform for five dollars a month. Now, I'm sure we all remember what happened with Watcher a little bit ago. Another group of BuzzFeed people who just try to do the same thing, kind of. And I just kind of wanted to talk about it and this trend of YouTube because I don't really like it. I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't. So, for some backstory, if you guys somehow were under a rock, uh, about a month ago, Watcher released a video where they were like, we're going to start our own streaming platform because we need more money and not to be regulated by YouTube to create better shows for our people. The only thing was, is they were going to pretty much totally leave YouTube except for like a few things here and there. So that did not go over as well at all. People like totally annihilated them. And I mean, they kind of asked for it. So what can you say? And I even remember going through the comments of like those videos and the comments of the most recent Try Guy video after that. And I remember people being like, I'm so glad the Try Guys aren't doing this. So now the Try Guys are trying to do their own thing, like I said, with Second Try TV, which is a streaming service that basically lets them not be gatekept by YouTube, according to them, and lets them post more stuff, as well as hiring more people to be official cast members. Um, I will say right off the bat, one of the cool things they did is every series that they already produced for YouTube will stay on YouTube is what they're saying so I guess that's cool but let's just talk with some of my problems with this because they definitely just tried to trick all of us and I'm not gonna let them get away with it first thing that rubs me the wrong way is the way they go about the algorithm right because they start to talk about how the algorithm changes all the time and if they don't change with it then they won't their channel will not be able to keep up and they will just fail apparently they go on to say that because of this, they have to do things like write, change crazy thumbnails, A-B testing, change text in videos, all sorts of things. Do more clickbaity stuff and stuff that they can't produce because they feel YouTube is gatekeeping them, kind of, is how they claim. They also go on to say that with this, if they don't change with the algorithm, they will just won't show up on their homepage, like on people's homepages, and that, you know, their channel will just fade away into existence like it never was here. And this straight up pisses me off because it's obviously a lie, okay? This is a channel with 8 million subs, okay? Now, I am a Try Guys fan, which is why I'm making this video. So I know that they upload videos Wednesday and Saturday, but Saturday, pretty much. If I go on YouTube on Saturday, right, and there's not a Try Guys video, I'm not just going to be like, oh... I guess they're just done making YouTube videos now. I'm going to go check their channel or my subscription pages. Like, it's really not that hard. It bugs me that all of these people, like a big thing these YouTubers are doing, are grouping the viewers in with the algorithm, making us the same person. Like, we are not. We have free will. If even 500k of those subscribers went to your channel and went to go look for that new video, do you not think that would send signals to the algorithm, Keith? I'm just asking, do you not think that would send signals to the algorithm? Because it clearly would. It clearly would. And on top of that, you've never posted an upload that's not been on my homepage. I don't... And I don't have the little bell. I don't click the bell for anybody, even being a YouTuber. And I don't tell you guys to click the bell because I don't want notifications popping up in your actual everyday lives. If you're at work and your phone buzzes and you look and it's just my video, that's dumb. I don't like that. I don't like that. It really just bugs me how much they, and not even them, just other people claim the homepage. So like, it's just like, if something doesn't pop up on the homepage, it's like, that's the only thing we know how to use. I guess, I guess we as YouTube users who have been using this platform since we were kids just don't know that we can check our subscription pages or anything. Nope, if it's on the homepage, then I guess it doesn't exist on YouTube, right? A good point is they do go to bring up demonetization, right? With saying, like, cuss words, and they do, like, their smoking weed show. And that I get, right? If they want, like, that's where things like Patreon and the members thing through YouTube would come in handy, right? Because then they could do stuff like that and just post those kinds of videos. But then right after that, they go on to say one of the most infuriating things to me ever. And it is so stupidly contradicting, it literally doesn't make sense. This is when Zach and Keith go on to say, 
this. I have two options. We can be successful on YouTube by making stuff that we and you guys don't truly love, or we can slowly fade away into irrelevancy, making cool shit that the algorithm doesn't care about. <laughs> So you're telling me, Dry Eyes, that if you stay on this path where you create the videos that you're already creating for fans who clearly like them, that you will stay successful. That's wording that you used verbatim, okay? And you even, and like I said, one of the things is they go on to say when they introduce their new thing is that their videos will stay on their channel. So if they are aware that people are going to keep watching the YouTube videos and keep their stuff on their channel that's already going for YouTube but they think that we don't truly love it and they don't truly like making it, then why are you still making it? Why are you still making it? If you don't like it and we don't like it, then why are you still making it? Because if we didn't like it, then we wouldn't tune into view every freaking Saturday, would we, Try Guys? No, we wouldn't, believe it or not. Because if we didn't like something, we would just go find something else. We wouldn't just choose to sit down and watch something that we don't like. I don't, I don't, I don't get that thought process at all. I do not get the thought process behind that at all. The other thing, like I was saying, is then they talk about fading into irrelevancy, but even like I just brought up, if even 500k of the 8 million subscribers, or even 400k, however many, went to their channel looking for a video if it didn't pop up on the homepage, that would send signals to the algorithm, probably promoting their channel again, meaning the fading into irrelevancy thing is totally bullshit, and the first part, what Zach was saying is totally bullshit, because they're already keeping their channels, they're already keeping their video series on YouTube going, as well as the new ones on this thing, right? So clearly that's a lie like if they they literally just admitted that they do not love making those videos or they're lying about it that is your word zach zach that is your words and then you're accusing us of not liking it but you're going to keep them going if we didn't like it why would you keep those videos going and let's not even go to forget that the scandal that happened with them at the end of 2022 right is that what year it was was it already 2022 but you know what i'm talking about i'm pretty sure it was and well, yeah, they got a lot of viewership from this, and they probably didn't get a lot of long-term staying fans like they brought up in their tripod before. Um, it still made you as a household name, because guess what? You were parodied on the opening sketch of SNL. Do you know who SNL hasn't parodied? People like Mr. Beast. Like, you guys made yourselves a household name. And you want to go and say that we don't like what I just can't, I cannot like fathom how angry that makes me you're putting words in our mouths guys and it's not cool but this is where the video starts to change and they start to actually introduce officially the new streaming service second try tv where they introduce the new shows they're going to be making and all the new cast members and for this little 30 seconds like interval they bring up the pricing which is five dollars a month for a year or 333 a year per month if you use this little discount code in the first week of signing up right Cool, and they're keeping all their stuff on YouTube, and they're adding all their stuff from YouTube on this thing. And I guess that's cool, right? That is definitely better than how Watcher went about it. But that's it. That's all they do. It's only a dollar less a month than Watcher for all this new content that apparently they're going to put all their time and effort into. Which is like, cool, it's whatever. But I want to touch on one of the things Zach said a little earlier, is he was like, yeah, even though our shows might come out later, sometimes a lot later. So how does that... So how are we to be trusted as the classic YouTube users who are in like who trust them to have their videos come out every Saturday? What if they just slowly fade and fade away and stop posting them on YouTube? Right. I mean, I doubt that'll probably happen because YouTube's obviously like the free money maker. But still, it's just like it's a possibility that could happen. On top of all of that, they barely even touch on the money. They just like skim through it like it's nothing. At least a watcher had the balls to sit down in front of us and tell us they needed more money for their stuff, right? Even though we said, no, we do not like how you're doing this, F off. At least they had the fucking balls. You know what you guys did? You skipped over this segment like it was nothing. Not talking about how it's only $1 less than the watcher thing. And, and like, you just don't even talk about how people maybe not can afford that. Not to even talk about the section of fans who would want it but can't afford it or the section of people who are under 18 who can't get their parents to pay for another stupid streaming service when they probably are already like dude youtube's free and we have netflix why do you need this little five dollar thing and not to mention mr beast is doing stuff with amazon prime video a streaming service that's already in there that's like already you know uh a streaming service that already has fans that's doing something with a youtuber he's not making his own streaming service like 
it's just I don't get where these YouTubers are getting off on this stuff. And I don't get where they're getting off lying to us about all this stuff. Like, do you know how much shows and how many... Like, they have nine full cast members that they're adding on top of all the crew and all the shows that they're going to producing. And they don't even have the nerve to tell us that any of this has to do with money. Because it definitely does. Because where did all this money come from? Right? Like, you, you are now are... Yes, they already have stuff on there. So they've already made stuff. Yes business works like that because they are now planning to make it back with the second try tv and then keep going to make a positive revenue to keep making shows that's the whole point of it so if they don't get that then the second try tv will eventually die along with all the shows on it it just the fans have so much more power than you guys think we as fans have all the power in the world as consumers if we just stopped doing something or buying something, then that company or product or people, artists, whoever, whatever the case is, would flip out. They would start freaking out. But for some reason, it just seems like nobody is strong enough to just have the free will that they're talking about and just stand up to these guys and be like, you're obviously lying to us. Like, a lot of this stuff is BS claims. You like, do you know how many poor people are out there? Do you know how many of your fans are probably poor? How many people are not financially stable? How many people are going through school? Like, they can't add another streaming service to this and i get it's only for the like real diehard fans right but you're adding so much stuff that you want to put on youtube apparently but you're just saying you can't it's not that you're not saying that it's there's something more beneficial here you're just saying we can't put these on youtube because the algorithm lol go pay five dollars and get this stuff instead now it's just dumb dude it's just so dumb and they don't talk about their loyal fans or anything and then after this the video just ends pretty much it's just stupid. At least with something like the Mythical Society, across all of the Mythical channels, they have, what, probably like 10 to 15 videos come out a week across all of their channels. GMM, Brett and Link, Ear Biscuits, Mythical Kitchen, all of the podcasts, like everything, right? It's just like, it feels like the content is there. It's like, it's fair. So it's like, and a lot of the stuff on the Mythical Society is like stuff that's not even similar to their YouTube content. So it's totally different. Whereas the Try Guys are making just stuff that they're literally saying, we wish we could put this on YouTube. LOL, give us more money so we can put it here and you guys can see it. It's just, it's so BS. It's so, so BS. And I just hate that everybody's falling for it. And they did it in a better way than Watcher because they're keeping their stuff on YouTube and they're nicer. So everybody just wants to forget it in the comments. And everybody just wants to forget that YouTube is literally the thing that's pushing all of these people to keep going, gave them all careers. And I get everybody's got to grow and expand. But when all of these things crumble one day and YouTube is still here chugging along in 2037, do not say I did not warn you guys. That's all I'm saying. YouTube, we need a revolution. Let's get thinking. Because these millennial YouTubers are starting to get whack. Old age, see ya. We need Gen Z. And I know there's a lot of Gen Z YouTubers out there. And I don't really know a lot of them because a lot of them don't, I feel like, I don't know. We just need to... We need a new wave at YouTube. We, there needs to be a new wave. I am just sick of these YouTubers taking us for granted and taking the platform itself for granted. It's like, it just frustrates me in a whole new way. And it's like, we as the fans have the power. And if a majority of people want to support this and want to cancel me and wreck me for this video, then I guess like, what am I going to do, right? I guess that's it. But if you guys just don't want to pick up the pieces reading between the lines, then that's on you. But, Try Guys, I saw what you were doing. You put Kevin from The Office and Anthony Padilla in your little promo to make it seem like YouTube culture was already okay with this. No, I know. I see all through that. And I'm going to tell people about it because I think it's messed up. I think it's messed up the way you went about this. I think it's the way, I think it's messed up the way you compared us to the algorithm and the way you blamed it and the way you did not talk about how you need more money. Even though you constantly joke about how you guys lose money on all these dumb videos like the Keith versus Zach thing when they like try to see who could top each other. All that stuff. And you guys also make a lot of like rich people jokes throughout the thing. Like you guys are definitely kind of Nepo baby vibes. But it's whatever, right? Because everybody can afford five dollars. But they didn't say that like Watcher did. That's what makes it okay. Bullshit. 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 Bullshit.